The question about study is very fundamental and important because it gets at the issue of how we know the truth and what is a valid source of truth. So all of us have a standard of truth or a source or sources of valid knowledge. And we uh, must ask ourselves what reasons we have for assuming them as valid. I would start with the assumption, um, as was said earlier, that all truth comes from within. Plato calls this reminiscence. The soul already has this knowledge and forgets when it takes on a body. So how do we remember what we once knew? In the different spiritual traditions, there are different methods for doing this. For instance, in Hinduism, they have scripture, a sacred book. They have commentaries on scripture by enlightened beings. They have what is called valid testimony, or the words of someone who knows. Now, of course, we could discuss what is a valid scripture, what is a valid commentary, and who is a valid speaker. And we should ask those questions. In many spiritual traditions, including Platonism and the Hindu traditions, for example, many of the discoveries of science are based on the use of human reason. We use our reason as a spiritual faculty to help us reveal the truth, to help us perceive the truth. It is one of many ways of knowing. So when we study together, we may do the following. We may read together a sacred scripture, a Buddhist text, Plato, a book of Paul Brunton. We may read what other people have said about these books. For instance, we have three books by my teacher, Anthony, which are transcripts of classes in which he explains Paul Brenton's um, work. So there we already have scripture, commentary, and valid testimony. We may read something that the Dalai Lama wrote about a Buddhist text. What is unique is the process of discussing and trying to understand By hearing another person's understanding of a text, you have the opportunity to ask yourself if you agree or disagree. If you disagree, you can say so. The person can explain. We can go back and forth among different ideas. The process helps you to draw out what is already within you. So, Anthony used to say, that philosophy is a social activity. I may read something and think I understand it very well, and my ego would be very happy to um, accept that conclusion. But other people can point out different interpretations of the same passage, or show me that there is a flaw in my logic, or give me information that contradicts my conclusion. All of this is part of using the faculty of reason as a spiritual activity. It is not opinion. It is not, gossip is not a valid form of truth. Reason has to rely on these other forms of truth, such as a wise person or spiritual scripture, and then attempt to understand and digest it. As we know, the formation of spiritual groups is extremely important. And one value of a spiritual group can can be to use reason as a social activity to realize truth. In the end, you are only discovering what you already have had within you. But in this case, it is through group study and dialogue. The Dalai Lama is a very good example of this. Every year he gets together a group of experts from a particular area of science. For example, he may invite a group of neuroscientists to speak about consciousness, to explain how science explains consciousness. And then he will invite different wise Tibetan lamas to answer the same question from their point of view. And they will have a discussion. The Dalai Lama has even said, 
that if science contradicts Buddhism, they will have to modify the Buddhist teaching. So the Dalai Lama is accepting what science tells us about the world as one source of truth, although not the whole source of truth. So we see that I am describing a process, a particular way of realizing truth in a group. And these methods may differ amongst different groups, but in the deeper sense they do the same thing. They help us remember who we really are. We look at ourselves and how we have changed. And we ask ourselves if we are better or closer to our truth. This requires being very honest with yourself. This requires listening to all points of view. And it requires coming up with some sort of understanding or justification for Ooh. what we are doing. In the end, we must decide. And these are different tools that will help us do so.